Hi mums and dads, my name is Chris Betcher, I'm the Technology Integrator here at PLC and I have the enormous pleasure of working with your daughters to teach them all about technology and becoming smarter technology users. Uh, so welcome to year three, uh, welcome to the big move across from Evandale to Hamilton. Um, it's, uh, it's one, I'm sorry I couldn't be with you in person tonight, but I just wanted to have a, a quick word with you about what sort of things go on in uh, uh, in the technology classrooms here at PLC. So um, your daughters have come from an environment in Evandale where they had shared iPads and Chromebooks uh, that are all sort of light computers that uh, can just do a lot of stuff online. Um, and they were working with Google Apps for Education, which uh, is a great environment for kids because it's super easy to use. It's, uh, it's a very um, comfortable experience for the students. Um, and students have only actually got access to what's called Google Drive, uh, which is a place to store their work. They, they haven't had access to email or any of that sort of stuff in the past. Um, the nice thing about the Google Suite that we offer the kids here is that they have, it's, it's cloud-based, so it works from any computer. Uh, they, they can and do a start a project in class and then go home and keep working on it. Um, it works on pretty much any device. It's highly collaborative, so they can work in teams. Um, so it's a really great environment that they've been working with for the last uh, year or two in uh, Evandale. Uh, and of course, they still have their weekly computer lessons where they come to the computer lab and we teach them all sorts of specific technology skills. Uh, as your daughters now move into year three up at Hamilton, um, things change a little bit. Let me just explain. So they still have access to uh, iPads and Chromebooks and also the weekly computer lessons. So they still have access to technology. Um, we try and embed that technology into the class as much as possible so that the things they're learning about in say, um, you know, a HSIE or science or English, if, if it makes sense for technology to support that, then the technology is right there in the classroom to help them do that. Um, the one of the big differences as they come into year three is we actually enable email for the students. We start teaching them about messaging and communication online. Now, don't panic, um, we actually make it in-house so students can only email each other uh, and we have pretty good monitoring uh, software in place to sort of, you know, should somebody say something they, they ought not say, um, we can be on top of that pretty quickly and keep a record of it. So uh, we don't allow students in year three and four to email outside uh, to anyone outside the school. Um, things change a little bit as they get older, but we can deal with that later. But right now, your girls can only contact other people within the school. So um, the way we, the reason we do that, of course, is the goal is ultimately to create sort of a phased use of technology and it lets kids learn in a safe, controlled manner. So the, the idea is that, um, you know, we sort of drip feed skills and knowledge to your daughters about becoming good digital citizens and about being safe online, about doing the right sort of behaviours online, what's appropriate, what's not. Uh, and we do it in a way that kind of takes them through and gradually gives them a little, bo little bit more each year and a little bit more each year. And, and we teach them the processes so that by the time they get to high school and onwards into adulthood, um, hopefully they are pretty sensible and savvy digital citizens who uh, are at home with technology and know how to use it sensibly. And that's, that's the end goal. Um, over the course of year three, we'll learn all sorts of cool things you can do with computers. Uh, we'll be looking at things like using spreadsheets to create graphs and charts, and we do some really interesting things with collaborative spreadsheets. Um, the girls use mapping software to explore the world. We do a couple of really interesting projects where we go and explore uh, different countries that they're learning about, Vietnam and other places where they, they actually sort of fly in there with Google Maps and and explore places they can't get to any other way. Uh, they obviously do a whole lot of things like making slideshows and media presentations and, uh, and using these really amazing uh, tools to communicate ideas and share ideas. Um, we, we do a little bit of work on investigating weather around the world and technology is a pretty great tool for doing that. We use some 3D software to look inside the human body and, and discover what's in there and, and much, much more. There's lots of really interesting, cool things. That year three is actually one of my favourite years uh, to, to teach and be a part of because uh, the kids are just so open to all these experiences and learning about stuff and, and just so curious about the world still. Um, so it's great. And we, speaking of curiosity, we also try and spend a fair bit of time teaching them how to search well, how to use the internet to find information to, to um, satisfy that curiosity that they have at this age. And they can sort of, you know, get really good at finding information and, and um, you know, fueling that curiosity.
So that about wraps it up. Um, we always have a fun year in year three. Uh, it is really a great year. If you have any questions about the technology program at PLC, please just, your first line is always the uh, class teacher, but um, I'm always happy to talk to you about anything that you know, might want to go a little deeper. Um, and uh, so please feel free to drop me an email or get in touch. Enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs>